Kenneth Omeruo is on the program uh, today. Well, Kenneth, glad to have you on Sport Week. Let me start by asking you, um, your previous outing at the Nations Cup produced a gold medal and a trophy that was in 2013 under coach Stephen Keshit. This year, you got a bronze medal. Is that not retrogressive in your opinion? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, because it's definitely um, a two different tournaments because we haven't been there for the last two years. You, you know what I mean? And coming back to win something means you know the next one will definitely aim for for better better outing. And not forgetting that this time around it's not the same number of countries. It's it's more countries now playing in the Nations Cup. So I think it was it wasn't a bad one. We'll, of course, gold will be the best for us and for the for the nation. But I think uh, we did we, we we didn't do the best we could. But it was it was something. Well, Kenneth Omeruo, expectations were very high from Nigerians before during the Nations Cup in Egypt. Did that put the Super Eagles under any form of pressure? Yeah, it does. It, it does because we we Nigerians we obviously we want to win. We want to win every every game. We want to win and be and be number one. But sometimes in football, you know, the luck might not be on your side, and it goes the other way. But I think I think um, the pressure is good sometimes, and our team we have a few young players. And, you know, the next tournament will be, I think most of the players will, must have gained experience from this one and uh, they will take it to the next one. Well, Kenneth, it is of note that some players, key players, have quit the Super Eagles and that's after uh, uh, the Nations Cup. The likes of John Mikel Obi, the captain, and Odioi Halo retired from the team. Some will no longer get an invitation according to coach Gennot Raw. What impact will this have on the strength of the team? Uh, I think um, the team should should uh, recover from this because um, we have so many long, young and talented players who are playing week in week out in their club sides. You know, so um, we will miss we will miss the players for sure. But we have to work on on the future because it's a nation and players will retire and other players will continue. So. I think we have uh, players that can fill in those gaps and we'll still have a, a, good, a good team. Okay, Kenneth, let's talk about your club football. Leganese have signed you um, on a five-year deal permanently from Chelsea. Uh, what are your projections uh, with your club in the new Spanish La Liga season? It's clear, you know, those of us who've been out on loan abroad, it's difficult to to come back, especially with this ban, and uh, it's not confirmed yet about Leganes. Yeah, they are one of the clubs who are showing serious interest, but nothing is confirmed yet. So, and that's why I'm working on this week to make sure I I find a permanent place for me, my family, and to for my football. Okay, before I let you go, Kenneth, now you play in the Spanish La Liga. Um, if given a chance to go back to England. Where will be your destination? Will it be Chelsea? <laughs> yeah, it's it's it it's it could be it could be my choice for sure because obviously they gave me an opportunity when I didn't imagine I'll have that opportunity and I would like to play especially for the fans in Nigeria. Yes. All right, Kenneth Omero was a solid figure in the Nigerian team that won bronze at the Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt this year.